just stepping in real quick to mention that uh, throughout this video, I kind of talk about it as though he could be on the Bills, Frank Gore Jr. I was recording this video, prepared to upload it today. Unfortunately, after I recorded it, I found out that Frank Gore has, in fact, been waived by the Buffalo Bills. In hindsight, maybe I should have waited a day to make this video, but uh, I sort of talk about it as though he might be on the Bills or might not be throughout this video. At one point, I even mentioned, like, if he's still on the Bills, this is something that they'll like. Some loud thunder just went off. Not sure if you heard that. A lot going on here. But uh, yeah, so just in case you're curious as to why I say that, I'm aware that he is now uh, currently currently a free agent or I guess uh, currently on waivers. So yeah, uh, you know, uh, had to mention that. But yeah, let's get into the video. All right, let's talk about Frank Gore Jr. Yes, that's right. Son of Frank Gore is currently in the NFL as a uh, player for the Buffalo Bills. Now, as of recording this video, he is currently still on the team. There's a lot of roster cuts coming in, so it's possible he might not be. But either way, uh, I figured it'd be fun to, uh, you know, make a film study on his performance as he had a pretty good performance against the Panthers. H had a, you know, got a few reps here and there in weeks one and two, but really got a decent amount of playing time and, and made some good plays here uh, and some plays maybe he needs to work on. So let's talk about it all. First, something like this, the way you see it, it's designed to be a run more up the middle. However, when the ball is handed off to Gore Jr. right here, up the middle, there isn't really a ton. Don't get me wrong, he could just lower the shoulder and pick up the first down. That's an option on the table, but... You know, you don't want to just pick up the first down right here if you can get more yards. You see over there, if he can bounce things to the outside, there is potential for a lot more yards on this play. But at the same time, this is where the risk always come in, right? If you decide to bounce things to the outside and you are wrong and someone makes a tackle, now you don't even pick up the first down and now you have to deal with a third down. It'd be a third and short, but that's still something you would like to avoid if you possibly can. But watch him get to the outside. He is able to run and, you know, pick up a good amount of yards on that play. So, hey, sometimes for a running back, it's less about being the fastest guy on the field or being the strongest guy on the field. Sometimes it's just simply knowing where you should go and going in the right direction. There's a lot of value in that. And teams will, you know, want, especially for a depth piece, a guy who isn't going to make mistakes. This play is another interesting one. It's uh, just going to be a, a route where uh, you're going to have Gore Jr. run towards the bottom of the screen, kind of get towards the flat area. Watch how when the quarterback takes a snap, he looks in that direction and he fires in that direction. And as of right now, I mean, you know, it's a peculiar position, right? You have a Panthers linebacker running in, ready to take the head off of Gore Jr. the second he makes the catch. So I think this will be a difficult catch to make, quite frankly. However, Gore Jr. is able to make the grab, and I mean, maybe it wasn't even better that he did, because I think they lost like half a yard, but again, you ideally want him to make the catch, right? That's still the good thing to do in that situation, and it's the preseason. You're caring less about the results of the play and more about what it means, right? The fact that he can make these contested catches shows that perhaps in an NFL game, uh, if he's actually down the field, he can make a contested catch, which especially for the Bills, who, if you're a running back, they, they care probably you know, as much about your ability to catch as they care about your ability to run. So the fact that he can do that is good. This play wasn't ideal, I would say, where, again, the way it's designed to work is this is going to be a rushing play here. It's going to be a rush to the offense's left on this one. Once Gore gets the ball in his hands, he's going in that direction. And to be honest, there is a window for him to pick up some yards on this play. I would say this is going pretty well here for the Buffalo Bills. However, for Frank Gore Jr., he isn't the biggest Running back, he's 5'8", 190 pounds, right? Definitely on the smaller side. And I think you're going to kind of see that on this play. Watch how there's kind of minimal contact, but it is enough to bring him down. That happened a few times I saw. There were plays that you were kind of expecting him to get more yards, and it, it just didn't happen. He went down a little bit easier than I think you would like. So that's definitely, for sure, a negative. Heading over to a play like this, so you see the uh, blocking concept. You have several offensive linemen moving up to the next level to block the two linebackers in that area. Again, you're going to see Gore take the handoff. And right here, well, what should he be doing right here? What's the best area for him to run? Well, go right there, right? Just kind of power through, pick up some yards, you would think. Situation is always worth talking about here. This is a third and 16, and I think a lot of running backs, especially young running backs in this situation, uh, might be try to do too much, right? Might try to you know, bounce things to the outside here. But again, sure, you're almost certainly not going to get the first down. 
But if you try to bounce things to the outside and get tackled for no gain, that still is worse than gaining the five yards. It's five yards of field position, right? It still does matter. And you see how Gore Jr. just kind of rushes forward, picks up the five yards that were available. Hey, nothing crazy, but they get five more yards. And more than anything, I think a coaching staff's going to like a running back who isn't afraid to get his hands dirty, isn't afraid to, well, I, I did say he kind of goes down a little bit too easy at times. It's not for lack of trying. He's not afraid to kind of put his uh, head down and just run through a guy if he, or try to run through a guy or just you know pick up the amount of yards that he can get. Also heading over to a play like this, what's going to happen is it is a, uh, you know, you see, again, you see the blocking concept. It's going to be a rush towards the offenses right, right here. That's the way this is supposed to go. So when Gore gets the ball right here, again, it's kind of similar to the last thing of there is a way you can see him try, you know, just go forward, pick up the yards that are available on this third down or excuse me, second down and five. Um, again, I think a lot of young running backs might try to do too much here. However, you see him again, just do, do the smart thing, pick up the yards that he can get. Uh, so yeah, there you go, uh, is able to make that work as well. So these are things I could see, you know, whichever team he ends up on liking about him. And, you know, this definitely is something that you can see as a, at least a decent depth. So yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on uh, Frank Gore Jr. in this admittedly odd YouTube video. Sorry about the kind of uh, tonal whiplash of starting off by talking about how uh, he's actually no longer on the team and then getting into talking about how he's kind of on a team. Uh, but yeah, my final thoughts on Frank Gore, which I'm re-recording this part of the video as well, just due to the fact that he's no longer on the Bills, is I, I thought he played pretty well in this preseason. I think it's undoubtedly true that part of why he's getting extra attention is his name. Like, that's just an aspect of how it's going to work. But you're not going to get put on a team just because you have, uh, you know, a relation to a famous NFL player. It is going to take more than that. But at the same time, I think he showed enough that for me, I, even if it's not necessarily like right away he gets put on a team, I think he'll be on a practice squad at the very least. And if he doesn't get on a practice squad, I think that he'll, um, you know, uh, I, I, would, I would imagine that he's at the very least going to be, uh, you know, next year in the preseason. Like he's not, this is not the last time he puts on an NFL uniform. I have a pretty good feeling about that. I think he'll at the very least get on a practice squad and maybe more than that. So yeah, those were my thoughts on Frank Gore Jr., and the Buffalo Bills. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.